so i haven't done a video on the zen and every time something is done on the zen people say it's not restoring it is repairing what you're doing you don't know what the difference between restoration and repairs so yeah i truly don't know what restoration and repair is so i decided to paint some of the stuff so all of this is prepped all the dirty work is done so as you can see it's all ready for the first lick of paint everything has been masked like it is supposed to be so yeah don't think i'm going to paint the bonnet like this i'm going to move it somewhere around here put it on some stands and then i'm going to paint it so yeah without further ado let me put you guys on a tripod and then start the paint work So the biggest challenge is the paint coverage was little bad so it is kind of a transparent paint which i didn't realize so as you can see it has not covered well so at least 3 to 4 coats is needed but unfortunately we ran out of paint uh, i'm not sure if the paint shop guy will be able to mix the same paint i have laid a bit of wet coat in this area that's why you see a bit more coverage there but the coverage is actually pathetic um so my idea is anyways i have disassembled all this plus um i am planning to uh match the color with the uh, mirror so that is a good color than this yellow this yellow is too yellow for my liking but it is kind of a metallic yellow so i'm thinking i'll apply the same color and then uh, paint the entire car so yeah it's a bummer we could not complete what we started but uh, we have disassembled almost everything so i'll keep it as it is so that uh, whenever i am able to paint i will just start painting on top of it Uh, so yeah there was another thing that i wanted to do is clean these because this used to look pre pretty hideous uh i'll also try to see if i can get brand new of these lenses that would be nice so yeah um some bit needs to be done like uh if i get the same color as the mirror it is slightly yellow so maybe i'll buy uh about 1 and 1/2 liters and then we'll cover the whole thing uh i'm also thinking should i do a 2k primer then you know uh properly sand it down and then apply the paint uh but the funny bit is my wife has not learned painting i mean driving yet so uh, whatever i do to it once she starts driving is going to go but i think uh you will understand why i am doing this because my ocd is killing me when i see the car in this condition so yeah um, let's wait 
till tomorrow today is a complete lockdown otherwise I've gone today and bought it um, so I'll get some cheap paint which I'll use as a filler and then on top of it we'll paint it so that there is a bit more coverage so this yellow is definitely something that I don't like I tried blending this panel if you see the color is blended here but there's some more work pending like I have to do welding in this particular place plus on the other side there is some welding required uh, these doors also need adjustment plus there is some welding required here but right now what I've done is I've actually used uh, some fiberglassing and then used body filler to level this so I have to put a little bit of body filler here to catch this line properly uh, then this also needs to be painted so looks like uh, I'll do this next Saturday uh, till then I'll put the car into storage I'll put all the parts inside this car itself so that it is safe and then it will be put into storage so once all this is done uh, uh, once the painting is done then we will focus on the interiors I'll get new seat covers done plus I'll get the door panel the dashboard etc painted as well uh, give a bit of silver accents so to match this I will get this as well as uh, all the door uh, things painted in silver so that it looks good and then we will do a complete black interior so yeah that was about today's video uh, I'm pretty disappointed by the outcome I know you guys are as well uh, I didn't think the coverage would be this bad um, but surprisingly this bumper came out well um, but then again I have to use some 2k primer as you can see there is a bit of uh, areas like this which won't be which won't fill well with paint so also the front mud guard has some cracks so I'll have to do something about this as well so yeah the painting didn't go as expected so we'll put all of this inside these in and then call it a day okay thanks a lot for watching have a great day bye